But if you've been playing the character so much, it just flows with you nicely. Like, you really can't play any other character as good as you can play that character. That muffin's good. <laughs> that muffin's super good. And then you drain it down with some soda. Yes. <laughs> that hit the spot, man. Game now you ready. Alright, let's get hyped, man. Game one. See how these points. Oh, this is my favorite FD. I love the music on here, too. You ain't got no fans, man. You got fans? Man, go I somewhere. Know. We're trying to do a trio? No, I told my fans. Who are you looking for? Poke your fan, he don't like you, man. You told me that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you play Peach, you don't got no fans. No, no I play. played Bayo. You don't. No one plays Bayo. I played Greninja, too. No, oh, that's right, he did play Greninja. Greninja but we have a match Bayo. going on I right now. Brando. So, Snickledorf oh. versus <laughs> yeah. Shinko. Game number one. Winner's finals looking tight. Okay. Got the last trap, but it actually just reset me. That was actually really, really, I really know. good parry. Shinko, Given I the multi-hit nature of that back air, you know, I'm always impressed whenever I see, like, mm -hmm. last hit. It feels like red parries in Street Fighter 3. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, wait. Hey, hey. you got a fan. Hope you can. He actually likes you. Yeah, he left the game. Oh he my said, god. Oh. <laughs> Barry into forward smash. Snickerdorf taking that very first stock of uh, the set. That's the classic of the set. He just was a little off on it. That's a big damage. Oh, gets that landing hitbox with the turtle. All right, so Shiko knows that he knows not to bounce a fish there. Mm -hmm. Because that's usually like Sheik's recovery. Everybody knows that. That's usually the Sheik's recovery option. Uh, if you see the way Snickerdorf was positioned, he, um, he was already positioned to cover that. All right, both players, two stocks. Low percent combos. This is where Nitro counts. All right, nice keep coming down. That's a punish. Oh, my there. God. It's so difficult to get a read on exactly what's yeah. going to work on Snickledorf. I said this was going to be a high-level match. Man, oh, I see it. <laughs> it don't oh matter. That's God. just the Game & Watch play style. That's just a Snickledorf play style. It, it's just so hard to get in on Snick sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. Man. Not again. Stop this. Stop it. Chris. This is not allowed! Highly illegal! Stop with these down smashes! Oh my god, I love I love how much he's practiced that. Where he uses the key go to go straight down the stage. At just the point where it actually ends right before he lands. Oh, yeah. So he doesn't it, have to so deal with the landing like lag. A, kind of like an auto cancel. Yeah, it, it seemed that way he's got that option available to him. It's like and then like if you think about it, a lot of people, a lot of people's mind like, oh I can punish this, right? Mm -hmm. Down there is usually laggy, but then he's like, nope, and he can hit you up with a mix-up. Yeah. Oh my god, that'll be You have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. There's Terry. Love how much. Okay. Shinko looking pretty good right now though. He's gonna keep can he and can he keep him on the ledge though? It doesn't seem like it. So Snickerdorf's back at center stage, and there's that down smash. So lower percent. Shinko's not going to use the down smash. He's going to use dash attack to cover Roy. He's going to probably use pivot F tilt. But then at higher percent, if he thinks you're going to roll, he's definitely going to use the down smash. Even if just, you do, just look at the Shinko's face after that match. She was like, man, I don't even go to tournaments like that, bro. This is just whatever. <laughs> oh, man. So where are we going for game? Oh, oh we almost saw the Zelda. Nope, more Sheik. You know, we are still seeing Zelda. You know how this works. Okay. All right, game two going with the run back. Definitely got his yeah. See, Shinko, he's always... I mean, at least when he was fighting earlier today, his offense was always really, really calculated. He never overextended. It was always, like, nice, clean, one-two hits, and then putting himself in a position where once his opponent recovers, he's already in advantage. Yeah, exactly. With that last match, he just seemed to, like, 
just go in over and over again, and maybe, Chris blew him up with some down smashes. Maybe he's just, uh, there's impatience there. As she plays, no. you can't afford a lot of traits. Yeah. Because he's looking nice, though. Especially in this game, like, in Smash 4, it was just still the same situation where you couldn't afford a lot of traits. But especially in this game, it's like, you really can't because the damage difference is like, a lot. Oh, I like that sneaky ledge trunk. I love that too, then. He's done that actually a few times, and sometimes he's hitting stocks off of it. Great Tip drill! Tipper down tilt. Tipper down tilt sits inward, right? So it's up, it perfectly combos in the upper. That's actually, she had that in Smash 4, and she still has that in this game. Very clean stock. Shinko sitting at 91%, one stock up. Oh no, <laughs> that down smash. There was a buffered air dodge oh. there too. I'm surprised I didn't kill him. Um, well timed regular get up. Um, was able to shield the tribute. Oh wow. She's so quick, like she Oh has, my god, scuba, she has scuba, such scuba, a good scuba. aerial drift that she can fade <laughs> back in and out of the smash tags. Snickledorf, you're gross. You're gross. All right, throwing an entire kitchen at him. Air dodges he in. He read the roll, or he has read the air dodge. He definitely read the defensive option. Yeah, he read the air dodge, and he held it just long enough to catch him on the roll as well. Nickeldorf plays like a gym sometimes, but he's actually really smart. He's really smart. <laughs> Okay, good ledge guarding from Shinko. He's keeping Snickledorf on his toes over here on the ledge. He has to get something that hits big, though. He has to get a conversion now, like a uh, fair and a bouncing fish or a nair and a bouncing fish. I don't think he needs that. I think that he just needs to keep getting these, like, one-two combos. Just stay in control of neutral at yeah. all times. I mean, if you keep control of neutral, you're never going to lose. Yeah, you know, that's actually true. Oh, nice up. He catches me. And shinko has been really good at doing that. I don't know. Back throw gets full stage control. Game Watch has to up B, but Game Watch does have the option of up being past the ledge. Oh, that was the time to actually intercept that like, back air. Like, this this entire stock. Um, Snickledorf has spent almost the entire time trying to get back on center stage. Like, that was true. unfortunate. But Shinko's still looking really strong. Oh, uh, he couldn't get that. He oh. nice, nice DI away on the back here. Catch hard. Yup, it's the bouncing oh. fish. Hard oh no. Man. He's a stock up. He's going for judgment. Oh, oh my god, the nine gets shielded. And that is going to be yeah, his stock in on the fourth throw one. into up air. That becomes real when you DI in. Alright. So, last stock game number two. Shinko with a very small percentage deficit. He can earn this back quick. Definitely, she, yeah, she could, she could hit you a million times, and then like you said, he would just, just keep the less traps up. I'm wondering why he went back to FD though, considering how well Shinko's done on stages with, you know, well, platforms. Yeah. Um, because it feels like a lot of the stuff that Shinko was setting up earlier against, uh, like Qfex, mm -hmm. like, just it, none of it works on this big flat area. Yeah, uh, she definitely, like, she gets, she actually excels off platforms. I can definitely see that. Alright, so up air is not gonna kill. He's gonna so, land with down air, but like you say, he gets the auto, not the auto cancel, but right outside of the frames where it ends. Exactly. Oh, yeah, see that? Oh, no! Snick goes a little bit too deep, and that's an SD! You're dead. You're dead. Alright, so Shinko taking game number two. 1-1, one, one, uh, competitive set. I like that. I like that. I like both of their shirts repping their mains. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's character loyalty. That is, that is, that is, I was wondering exactly what shirt that was, and I just realized it's a wireframe of Sheik. That's character loyalty, man. Oh, the Zelda. Zelda no. Yes, yeah, no, yet, yeah, no. Nah, he's gonna stick it out. Uh, Zelda would have been a bad pick. Zelda actually would have been a pretty good pick. I mean, like, he can maybe... Or he could bucket Dense Fire, but you're not going to really use it. Well, Dense Fire off stage, so he could definitely bucket it. That narrow show is really quick. Uh, frame. What is getting banned that they keep I doing this run back? I, I mean, it was last hit. If I'm it right. was last hit. It was so, really close. They're both benefiting off the stage. 
All right. See, once again, very, very safe offense. Like, he goes up, he nares, and then he fades back because he knows that he's not going to get anything more off. Yeah, he's not in advantage anymore. That's knowing your character. Yeah. He knows his character. He knows when he can go for an attack. He knows when he needs to back off. You're dead. And he never seems to he never seems to pick the bad option. Shinko's just super solid. Uh okay. Oh, he couldn't get the grab. He wanted to drag down where it actually sit him towards the ground. But Shinko actually was able to invade that. Nice All right, bouncing great fish. bouncing fish. That could have been bad if that judgment came out even a frame earlier. He he definitely tried to continue the aggression with another bouncing fish. He would have did it a little earlier. I actually would have caught him off guard. Oh, down there, I'm sure. Mm, you better watch your head. That's a tipper up smash. Uh -oh. He wants a down there set up, maybe in a bouncing fish. Oh, oh my smash. god, judgment again? What is he doing with this judgments? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is the second time I like uh, what she was doing, right? So oh, not... never mind. He was a stock up. <laughs> yeah, he's like mine as well. Uh, he's using these four dares on shield. Four dares is like very, very, very safe. So uh, if Game Watch tries to nair out of shield, uh, Shingo can actually just shield it and then use his own nair out of shield. I liked how Shinko actually took that damage mm -hmm. because that could have been a shield break, I think. Yeah, you might as well, like, you just, like, getting your shield broken, this is a procedure. Getting your shield broken against Game & Watcher, it's like, alright, cool. Fully charged down smash, bury. <laughs> Fully charged forward smash, you're, you're dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> so taking the damage is honestly a better choice. Dropping bombs on him. Ooh, that's catching his uh, jump back to center stage. Oh, he could have been dead there. Uh, use a little... I mean, bomb's not gonna kill yet. Still got quite a bit of percent to go before that'll ever happen, but is bad. So that back air is a good frame trap. It, it that back air is just good. <laughs> Multi hit stays out. Last hit is fairly decent that's, at killing. That's turtle angry, man. Yeah. That throw. It's like Falco's forward air, but in reverse. Basically, multi hit catches the air dodge. Oh god, yeah. that was so good. He, that, that downer actually came out, but he actually outspaced. It. All right. How much insurance can Shinko get before he finally loses this stock? Because I don't see this going on for much longer. Oh, no! Not at mm, all! That can't happen. This is winner's finals. That's okay. Both players, 0%. Final stock. You know, like, Snickledorf actually going down below the camera, Shinko's taking 1.2% so damage on his own. If you notice what Shinko did, now it was a regrab situation, right? So, in a regrab situation, a lot of times if the game watch has the access hole beefy up beat over the ledge. So, what Shiko did, Shiko did um, he had automatically prepared himself for that punish. Um, so, oh, it would that make Snickledorf respect it and actually regrab the ledge so you can get the regrab punish with down tilt. So, even just applying that you're going to put, put yourself in position for that. All right, Shinko has almost needles fully charged. Um, oh man, these, these, these bouncing fishes into into back air. He's doing these back air so close to the stage. A uh, tipper back air, tipper back air actually got really. Good. Oh my god, is that really gonna take it? Oh, no. Please. Okay. Nice air dodge. Bomb's not taking him yet. Sitting at 104 percent. If he gets caught off stage by that again, I think it will kill him. Needle. Ugh! The he down smash is coming out! He has to play. He has to show us something I'm not even gonna go near you, man. Ooh. Yeah, he's taking all oh. Alright, both opponents have to start respecting kill options. Oh nice no, up there's that up B. That is easily Game of Watch's best get out of my oh, face option. That's not gonna kill, this is a Smash 4. Oh, oh girl, right? no, this or is gonna look bad. He wants a juggle positioning. F till. He cannot punish that. He did the, uh, cancel. All he needs is one bouncing fish or one He baited it. He baited oh. it. But he had that, uh, contingency plan by drifting away with the up B. Both players this looking so like it's close to last hit. I'm I know. I'm playing and I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> so close. Like, 
Like, the bomb will kill! You can feel the intensity, dude. Yo, regrab! No regrab! You don't get eye from Oh, that's space! That's that that big oh. turtle! Terry taking that last stock! <laughs> we are currently going into game number four. How far are you? Uh, <laughs> it's so fucking sick. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got that. Oh, my God. You want a feature, right? Versus Bomb? So, going into game number Mayo. four, we have Snickledorf up 2 1. Mayo, <laughs> oh, my God. So I mean, these are all going basically last hit. <laughs> kinda, yeah. Like, I mean, I would say Game and Watch has that advantage in last hit scenarios, but that's like most characters versus Sheik. But she was actually doing really good. Like that spacing at the end was actually godlike until you ran into that Zelda. Really doing the Zelda? Yeah. Hey, let's go, Zelda. Tell Thor I said hi. Hi. Three. Uh, this is a uh mat matchup that I know by far a lot. Uh, this is a matchup that I play almost every day. You play the Zelda Snickledorf matchup? I play the Zelda Snickle I play against <laughs> Zelda. I haven't even played the Snickle Dorm but I'm not even ready to play it, dude. Alright, so this should be interesting. Uh, Chef's not going to be too bad because uh, Shinko can reflect that now and also teleport through it. Not only that, but hold down the neutral, my child, has entered the fray. <laughs> well, deep down, these are doing so much mileage. Honestly, Phantom is one of the best moves in the game free. Yeah, like... That, 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 just that add to Zelda actually made her neutral way better. You have to respect it. And it's also like, if you're hanging on ledge too long, she can sit out quick and actually scoop you from the ledge. Ooh, oh my god, actually got the teleport in place for the stock. Shinko only at 41%, looking nice. Yeah, man, this might be the answer. Uh, he replaced it with a slower character in neutral, but more devastating when she does get the Hold down the neutral. Oh, nice side. combo. Tries to finish it off with you the Dins Fire. This kid is nasty with Zelda. Hold on, I'm trying to check you Zelda out real quick. I like that Dins Fire choice, forcing that air dodge. Oh, holding shield, he's not going to get down smashed. Yeah, I think he adapted by now. He's like, okay, I'm not going to get down smashed like that. Wow, is that this down? Yeah, it really does. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> not only that, but it lasts so long. Yeah. Zelda has the two frames of a mono ability on her up B, so you can't challenge it actually. But I don't know what Game Watch is necessarily gonna do against it. Like what move? Alright. Yeah, I, you see what Shingo's doing? He's just kind of resetting, right? And yeah. just throwing out his uh, Phantom. Because it makes it makes sense. All he's gotta do right now is just control center stage. Yeah. And you know, he's got Phantom, he can do it. Exactly. All right, I'm not quite sure. I think that he's just waiting for uh, Snickledorf to go in. Yeah, that's exactly what, that is what he's doing. It makes sense too. Nope. Like he's just choosing. All right, I'm not gonna play too aggressive. Like you're not supposed to play too aggressive with Zelda necessarily. All right, both players two stocks, but Shinko up on percent right now. He gets hit with a piece of bacon on the way back. We grabs ledge. He's back nice on stage. Up. Yeah, I noticed that he's using a lot of those up beats to catch full jump out of slow. So maybe stay a little more grounded. Shinko has to adapt to that. I don't think that Snick is going to get hit with another uh, with another teleport. Nah. Oh, nice lightning legs. Nice double jump. Uh, down B does force jumps. So if Shinko is like aware of that, he can do the F smash to catch the landing. Oh, he wanted to get the Phantom out. Dins fire off stage. Nice. Makes an opening, but Snick is just not letting him stay on the stage for very long. He goes and send him off stage. He starts setting up his ledge traps. That's a game watch. Oh, man. I'm Maybe starting to get worried. I'm starting to get for, worried. Uh, juggling? He actually could protection uh, Snickledorf's up airs and send them back at him if you want. Oh, it, so it sends downward. When but they, that does lock him into place. He's going to land somewhere where Snickledorf can predict it if he does so. Exactly. 
Oh, nice Phantom coming back on stage, clearing that nice space there. up. Dang but there immediately, strong, yeah, you gotta watch out for Bomb. All right, this is actually scary. Yeah, he timed it perfectly. Like so beautiful. You had to choose a quick option because I was actually gonna cover multiple options. It covers jump, it covers regular get up, and it covers uh, you hanging on the left shoulder. Oh no, Snickledorf has remembered that he can bucket it. <laughs> I, for I actually forget about that too. Bucket can reflect Phantom back. Oh no, he, he has a secret power now, man. <laughs> He's like, oh wait, I can do that? Oh, hold on. I forgot about that. All right. Oh, I'm just waiting. Uh, I'm just waiting for that reflected Phantom now. It looks like Shinko... Oh. I was about to say, it looks like Shinko's not going to pull out Phantom now that uh, Snick seems to be expecting it, but... Never mind, here it comes. Well, yeah. I mean, he was already committing to the jump, so that, that makes sense. Oh my god, and he's... Zelda's uh -oh. so good, man. He got it in the bucket. Oh, oh my god! He was right outside of the hitbox where if he reflects it... So actually, I, li I like that from Chico. He That was actually really good awareness that if I dash right next to Game & Watch, I won't get hit by the reflect. The reflected thing. Mum's cookie sitting over there just screaming out button commands. This is kill percent. God, we are here again at last hit. Yeah, man, this is... Oh, he wanted that reflect. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, uh, try to go for a copy man now, so I Nice teleport, but he's not dead! Wait, 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 wait. with that, the good DI. That was the DI of the gods, man. That down air uh, caught the timing of us match too. I could have sworn he was dead off that up B. You <laughs> know, so let's check to the first control. <laughs> and we're gonna have to watch out because if he, if Shinko gets two framed by a bomb, that's it. He's done. Uh, he's not dead yet. Not yet. Back throw. Let's see how we actually. So how's he gonna drop his ledge? Oh wow. Okay. Right, so reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse. Uh, he just gives him. He just gives him up, and now it's just neutral. It's neutral again. Both opponents will start respecting Charles kill options. That's why you see more kills coming out. Oh my god, he's trying to get the save spike. He knows he doesn't have to get anything. Nobody has to get much of anything. Yeah, that's true. It's just like, you can breathe on when you're dead. Oh, dash check? If you don't sneeze, they'll fall over. Oh my god. Zelda... And Game and & Watch, both around 150. Oh, this is going to time. Do you see the time? I didn't even oh notice my God. this match was that long. Dude, hey, he's, he's in the lead. He just camped us out. They're not 10. camping, though. I love how aggressive <laughs> oh they're playing. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh! oh no. <laughs> you see? Like, like, uh, like, at that moment, you just got to play lame. You just gotta play lame. Like, he was in the lead. He could just quit for the timeout. No, I meant teleport in place, man. He's not gonna get hit by that. <laughs> you just gotta play lame. Like, I actually appreciate Sigurd. He's not one of those players. Like, he's like, nah, man, I wanna kill you, man. <laughs> but just take it, dude. Maybe they weren't even paying attention to the time. I wasn't. I wasn't either. I didn't even know the match was that long. All right, here we go into game five. Will be the final one. Who goes to grands? Who goes to losers? I don't know how this is gonna go. Is he gonna stay Zelda? I mean, I don't know. It worked out, but I think that Snickledorf is onto onto his gimmicks with a uh, yeah. Phantom. I don't know if he's gonna stay Zelda. I mean, he could. Because Snuggledorf made a lot more attempts to reflect Phantom near the end of that game. Yeah. So I'd be a little bit worried about that. Is he always oh, going Lucina? Interesting. I like this. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works out. Hmm, Lucina. He played, he had a nasty Lucina in Smash 4. <laughs> Definitely one of the better, better Lucina than Washington. Oh. Now, this is Game Watch versus Disjoints. Well, bigger Disjoints than he has. Mm. Here we go, Game 5. Let's do he, this. He has the option of counter now, so if Game Watch goes low, or he gets Game Watch low enough, he can counter. 
Uh, Lucina at a higher percentage. Let's say around 80 can go for down tilt. Uh, Miss Tech down smash. Or if he baits out the roll, have smash. Going to town and city. Big blast zones. I gotta say, Snip likes that. He likes and going straight down below the camera and coming back. Gets Game Watch's bread, bread and butters. He doesn't have a jump. He yeah, a jump. He's, dead. he's dead. Oh, no. And he's already dead. That's the problem with Lucina sometimes. Oh. Sometimes you overshoot the ledge and then it's like, it's just devastating for him. I like yep. this man. Yep, that was not good. He can still take this, though. He's yeah. got Snuckledorf at not, 61%. If he uh, gets... You know, 70, down to uh, Tech Chase F smash. He probably might start searching for the down to right now. I feel like he was just running back and he was trying to parry that dash attack and just did not time it right. Oh, he tries to read. To read. Neutral get up. Nope, 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 nope. Nah, I was like, nah, man, get out of here. Look, he's searching for the down tilt. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, he no, went he went for the down smash. Down smash has a little more range than F smash, so I see why he did it. But F smash would have killed there already. Still, though, picking that up and cleaning it up. Nicely played. Ooh, Sitting at 37%. Jump. He's evened nice up the stocks. Looking good. Not bad. It was a bad start, but he evened it up quite nicely. And reverse him off stage. Nope. It reverses. He gets the reverse hit. Now it's just neutral again. He's gonna win. He wins neutral with a dash attack. That's everyone one that Game Watch is more used uh, neutral options. It's a quick burst option. It's unreactable at like mid range. Nice F tilt, gets him off, gets full stage control, Shinko. goes for the down smash again. Once again, showing off his F neutral smash, skills, man. Yeah, F smash when I killed there anyway, so I, I get it. You don't want to steal your move. All right, so last time he tried to oh. look, he <laughs> definitely tried to read the up B if you know this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So last time Shiko did go for the F smash, um, uh, single door rolled. So maybe if Shiko stays at regular get up range, he can take it out. Great dolphin slash coming back, challenging the key. Mm. He didn't even get the uh, cancel on the down air, so that could have been a big punish. Okay, back to small stage. He decides to go fully aggressive. Ooh, oh, he gets it off of the state, off the wall bounce. Oh, wow. never mind. Wow, <laughs> the multi hit caught him off guard. He was probably expecting a different option. He was probably expecting. He was expecting. Uh, he was a bit expecting something else. Yeah, that's Dang. what he drops so early. Well, oh, I like. I love. Shingo does that on purpose. He does like safe aerials where you're gonna jump out of shield and then quickly um, opts for the rising there. Oh man. Yeah, that's a sweat. Last stock game five. Shinko in a percent lead right now. Has control of center stage for the most part. Yeah, not rolling. That was smart for him not rolling there. He just uh, said, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you your space. All right, platforms coming in. I say Snigglethorpe starts walling out more with bombs at higher percent. You're not wrong, because at higher percent, that's like, the knockback scaling on that bomb is actually really useful at higher percent, because yeah. it will start kill. It will start to KO. Yeah, exactly. It throws the corner off a lot. Oh, tech change? Yep. Right. Oh, that big forward so snatch. He takes you it. You've seen the conditioning, right? You've seen the conditioning. A lot of times when you got the down tilt, you went for an immediate attack, right? With, uh, 